The Gold Cup is the longest Group 1 race in the British racing calendar, over 2.5 miles or 4,000 metres, and the second race in the long distance category of the Kipco British Champion Series, and is one of the highlights of the racing at Royal Ascot. The Gold Cup is also a real test for jockeys. It's unusual for flat jockeys to have to ride races over this distance, so it's a challenge to their judgment of pace and horsemanship. Jockeys have to strike a fine balance between using up their mount's energy to maintain a position and keeping enough stamina in reserve to ensure they can gallop all the way to the line. The race unfolds over more than a full circuit of Ascot's famous track, so there's obvious advantages to hugging the rail and saving ground. The superb Segaro won three in succession in the 70s under Lester Piggott. Lamos won two, as did Ardros and Gildoran in the 80s. However, all of these were eclipsed by Yates, who between 2006 and 2009 won four consecutive Gold Cups. He is immortalized at Ascot in the beautiful bronze you can see in the parade ring. But the most celebrated success of recent times came in 2013, when Her Majesty the Queen became the first ruling monarch to own the winner of the Gold Cup with her filly, Estimate. Into the closing stages, Estimate and Seminole. Top two trying to get on time between those. Estimate the red sleeve jacket, Seminole on the outside, racing the waterline. It's a happy and glorious day at Royal Ascot. Estimate has won the Gold Cup for the Queen. A victory in the Gold Cup is proof not only of a horse's ability, but their heart, tenacity, and sheer will to win and the protagonist here will often meet again several times through the remainder of the season.